for today's recipe the ingredients are ham sofrito I will be adding a video at the end note on how I make sofrito which is basically the ingredients are garlic onion bell peppers um, cilantro culantro etc it will be there on a video and chopped bell peppers garlic onion and we have some oil there we're gonna need to saute all these ingredients and pigeon peas or gandules this is an option this is optional ingredients if you have the roasted bell pepper or you can add it if you want to or you could simply eliminate that I also have some olives and uh, some tomato sauce here we're gonna need some of that and in this little pot here I have annatto seeds which I'm going to uh, extract that red color with this uh, oil Another seed is this here. It's also called achote. Okay? So, let me get started. So, with that achote seeds right there in that little pot, I will be adding some oil. Now, be careful when you do this. You are not trying to bring the oil into a boiling point what we are going to do is just bring it so that it's hot enough so that it could e extract the color from this annatto seed okay soon as you see that the seed is nice and red you could take it out of the heat but uh, be careful because this will an extreme heat all of these seeds will pop and then you'll have a lot of polka dots all over your kitchen and probably including your skin and it'll be very unpleasant just try and keep an eye on it check the oil every so often and you could see that it is starting to turn red or orange. Okay, at this point I could feel the heat and what I'm going to do is turn it off because the heat in that uh, stove will continue uh, extracting or help the oil extract the color. The temperature will stay hot for a good while. Okay, so let's get the oil in the pot. You might have noticed that my pot is quite big today, bigger than usual. I'm cooking for two people, or two family rather, and I'm gonna need a bigger pot to accommodate that. So, we got that, let's put that in the back burner. Now, turning the stove on and first ingredient that goes in is the garlic we have the onion and then we're gonna put the bell pepper on one side This is my old pot, which I used to have a, a gas stove, and this was okay. And now I have this electric stove, and this big pot is really dancing around because it's a bit warped. I have this pot forever. 
So we are just going to allow all of these aromatics to saute. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients, okay? Okay, so all our aromatics are sauteing. And we'll go ahead and add the tomato sauce. So I could go ahead and add the rest of it. Okay. Now we're going to add our pigeon peas or gandules. So now we're going to add the ham. Smells so good. You could just dig into this as it is. Okay, let's add another ingredient. That's olives. go ahead and put our rice in okay we're going to put about I would approximate a teaspoon of salt okay So now we are going to add some water. Mm. Let's see if I have enough water. I need to have at least an inch above the rice, an inch of liquid above the rice, and then allow this to simmer. So as you can see, I'm gonna be needing some more. Okay. I suggest using the hot water so that uh, the cooking process continues. You know, when you add cold liquid into anything that's hot, that's been sauteing, and you add cold liquid, what will happen is it will slow down the process. It will stop for a while and then continue again when the temperature picks up. So I always use hot water. Okay, so I have it simmering in a very low heat. And let's check it, okay? It's almost there. Okay, 
a little more time and our rice and pigeon peas will be done. Arroz con candules with ham. Okay? So, just a little more time. Oh boy, hear the thunder. Okay, rice is cooked. Let me check it for texture. Make sure that every grain is cooked through. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna plate this, okay? And my plating will give you a suggestion on how you could uh, serve this. There's so many ways to serve.